But later this week, I'm actually traveling to South Australia, which is why I've been trying to rest so much. Is oh. There he is. <laughs> What's going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you are new here, my name's Chris and I'm building a business that suits my lifestyle. Now, I'm documenting what that kind of looks like on a daily basis. Each week, I come back here and I share with you what I've been doing in the business, what it looks like on a day-to-day -day basis, what it looks like when I'm unable to work and what am I doing to actually help grow my reselling business on eBay. Now, this week, look, I'll be honest, it was a bit frustrating because things didn't go as planned. I was under the weather for a good period of the week and then by the end of the week, I needed to travel over to South Australia, go interstate and actually go pick up a really, really big deal. So it's been one of those weird weeks where I wasn't able to give as much energy as I wanted to, but then in the end, I probably did more energy than I would have probably done it in, in any other week, but it was done doing a different kind of exercise driving all the way over to South Australia. But these are all good things and there's pros and cons with all this because how we dedicate our time is obviously going to determine what we get in terms of results and out in terms of outputs as well. So one of those roller coaster weeks like every week, I guess. So really this week, I'm focusing on some of the frustrations that I had. I'll be taking you through some of that, but I have had to slow down in order to make sure that I was recovered so I could go actually do that trip and do do a big pickup of a whole bunch of goodies from uh, two Aussie thrifters. We'll get to that a bit later into the video. So a lot less output from me in the business. However, I still had my two workers doing photos and doing listings in the business as well. Uh, but there's some of those things that I wanna talk about in the lessons as well later uh, today. So it has been different, a different kind of week. It's actually been a pretty quiet week as well. But if you stick around to the end, I'll take you through all the details of how the week has gone, talking about financials and all that jazz. But most of all, I'll take you through the lessons and some of the takeaways that I've found from this week being a little bit different than normal. So let's dive into the vlog. And if you do have any questions along the way, make sure you chuck them down below. Appreciate you. Let's get into it. Folks, it is Monday and I'm going to be honest, I feel like not too good. Um, I've been sick all weekend since I got back to, from Retail Fest, just a head cold. Um, I was almost contemplating I'm not going in today, but we've had a whole bunch of orders come in this morning and I really don't want to keep them building up. I want to keep the momentum happening, so I'm not spending too much time. I'm just going to go and post and then come home. My worker is there doing photos. I need listings because we exhausted all our drafts. Um, just been trying to push, push, push. So I probably won't do anything above and beyond today other than pick, pack and post. Um, and then I'm gonna go home and continue resting. So I did contemplate about have them do the post, but the reality is, is like I, I need to prioritize what I need them to do. So that's what they're doing. Uh, we ended up on about $6,000 uh, for last week, which is pretty good, pretty happy with that. Uh, today already we're already at uh, we're already moving pretty good it's 9 13 and I think I'm sitting on about four hundred dollars so the week is progressing pretty good already for the morning um, and yeah, I've been actually looking at this interesting graph that kind of shows me the ups and downs the ebbs and flows of the last four years and when I've had a low week this year it's been pretty much the same as last year Obviously, it's been a little bit higher because the, the volume is there. But uh, what's interesting is, looking ahead, we should see a couple of good good weeks in theory. Um, I'll show you that up on screen. Anyway, that's that. I'm going to uh, gonna pop a little magic mind. This is something that I've been having over the last, oh jeepers, it must be about four weeks now. A uh, little magic mind. Don't know how well you can see that. I'll put it up on screen. And usually I have this in the morning when I wake up and do my... Uh, when I do my listings at 5 a.m. But because I rested this morning, I haven't had this, but this, I've been having this over the last couple of days when I've been feeling a bit congested, and this thing clears stuff up. Like, this is good. It's got turmeric in it. It's got a whole bunch of goodies in it. Uh, I've been talking about this on my podcast. Um, go check it out. Look, if you are interested, there is a link also in the description. Uh, you can use the code, uh, and you can get a discount as well. Put all that up on the screen. But really, I just wanted to share because this is... This is keeping me sane at the moment. It really is. So anyway, let's head over to the, um, to the shop and let's do some work for Monday morning. Folks, all right, so we're here finally um, getting some things done. Uh, we're at 58,438, which is a win-win. Uh, we've got 37 orders to go out. One just sold, so there's probably actually another one to come by the time I finish this. A couple of Pokemon cards going out to the Pokemon Fund. This is also going out to Old Mate Thrifter. Thank you, sir. I'm also going to send this book to... Janelle and Wayne, which were from um, Retail Fest. So I'm going to get all that out. I'm going to get all the goodies out and I'll show you here. 
um let's see what we've got hey you ready one two and there we go all the stuff this is all clothing just in here um there's as i said there was probably well actually it's probably 80 percent clothing and then we do have a few things out of other stuff with a couple of magazines going out comics phones phones a um portfolio society book going out it's going international we've got some lego more phones and cameras in here and then this guy's gone out for 110 that's just the box um, another phone and yeah so I'm gonna get this all packed up and then I'm gonna get out of here <sighs> and rest Jeepers. never a dull day I'm grateful though all right folks postage is all done all packed up over there I'm now just printing out a whole bunch of more SKUs as we're finally actually we're gonna get into the 6000s now which is pretty cool so I'm gonna while that's printing I'm actually just gonna take a couple of photos of some quick wins and then I'll be out of here Folks, it is Wednesday and it's a bit different today. So I've, I've been under the weather for the whole week. Um, you can probably still hear it a bit in my voice. Uh, so I, I decided not to go to backpacks today. I've slept in, I've taken my time this morning um, and it's now, what's the time? Like, I think it's like 10.30 and I'm just heading into the storage unit now just to do some postage. Um, I had to drop Carla off at the library as well for work. Um, but yeah, so a bit of a weird day today. Don't know how much I'm going to do. Really just making sure I'm keeping things ticking over while I'm a bit under the weather. But later this week, I'm actually traveling to South Australia, which is why I've been trying to rest so much is because I want to make sure I'm tip top shape to do that. Got a big deal to pick up over in uh, South Australia. Be meeting up with two Aussie thrifters as well. So uh, yeah, that's that. It's been a bit of a quiet week also because I haven't been putting in the effort either. Um, just been doing the bare minimum of listings. We're finally caught back up to a total listing quantity of Draft Bank, um, which is great. But uh, yeah, just feeling a bit flat myself just because I'm under the weather, just man flu, cold, whatever, uh, which, you know, these things happen. Uh, so hopefully today just get the, yeah, the bare necessities done, maybe do a couple of quick win items. And my photographer is in doing stuff already, so that makes my life a little bit easier. Um, yeah, so it is what it is. This is the reality of it. I can't just, I mean, I can just stop everything. I stopped everything yesterday. I didn't work, took the whole day off, rested in bed. <laughs> and now today, just trying to get a little bit more done. So come along, I'll take you through what we get up to today. I think we're sitting on about 59,000 as well. New, new high level, so which is nice. Let's do it. All right, we're back here, folks. Um, just going through the orders. We've got 20 orders to go out. Can't really see that well. And we're on 59,188. We did have a couple of big sales come through yesterday, which is very rewarding. A couple, a couple of multi-quantity, a big sale of um, a Wrangler shirt, which is pretty cool. A few different things. I'll take you through that once I've got them. Um, I'm gonna go pull out all the stuff and put it here. And then we can get, uh, get cracking into the day. I'm gonna also do a whole bunch of phones today as well, just to get some more um, non-clothing items listed up as well. So let's pull out all the stuff. All right, all the stuff is out. We've got all that is clothes. And then here we've got a couple of interesting stuff. We've got some Mad Magazines going out. We have Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Game Guide. We have a Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption poster going out that's gone to Germany for a hundred bucks, which is pretty cool, paid two bucks. Um, some phones, and I think the, the winner for today is, this one has gone for 200 bucks, which is absolutely epic, and I've sold this shirt probably three times now, and every time I've sold it, it's gone for more, so I'm learning that the price is too low, uh, yeah, so <laughs> I'm happy with that, um, alright, we're going to pack all this up, alright team, uh, postage is all done over there, good nice, first time sending a poster, to um, Germany, that is, and it was actually not too bad. Um, I'm gonna have some lunch, and then I'm gonna get into doing some photos for some more listings. Pretty breezy day. We did have a couple more sales come through while I was packing, so we ended up doing about 22 packages. But some person purchased multiple pairs of um, of jeans, so it was just a total of 22 packages. But it probably ended up with about 24 24 items or so. All right, I'm gonna have some avocado and cheese and then get to it all right so today i'm focusing on a whole bunch of cars these are disney cars I've got some board games i've got a few other bits and bobs in here and we've got some phones that i'll be doing there's still a few more on charge uh, just going for some quick wins 
hopefully punch out between 10 and 20 items just to get some extra ASP volume this week. I did seven high, well, not high ASP, but I guess quick win items, yes, uh, Monday and listed them this morning and some of those I've already sold. So uh, that was a cars item. It literally just sold before, after I finished packing, someone else purchased something. So that's gone international for about 50 bucks. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go through these, just have a quick little comp and see what's worth anything by itself. Otherwise, I'll just all be bundled up. Um, haven't really done this kind of thing before. So that's what we're doing. Okie dokie team, I am done. I'm getting out of here a bit early. Just still need to rest a bit. Um, and yeah, ended up doing 10 maybe high value items. Um, we've got plenty of clothing going up anyway, so just doing the phones and doing a few other bits and bobs. But that's it. Um, tomorrow we head off to South Australia, so I'll see you on the road. Ciao. Folks, welcome to, what day is it? Thursday. I'm so confused of what day it is. Um, we're doing a road trip to South Australia. We're doing a road trip to two Aussie thrifters to pick up a big bulk deal. Um, big thank you in advance. Uh, so it's 10am, we are leaving and we're doing this over a couple of days, just taking it easy. Uh, we're also going to bump into Grumpy Granny, I've got to drop off for her. And we're also, I might even catch up with Roger if we get a chance on the way back as well. Or maybe we'll see him tonight, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, just um, going to be a whole lot of driving today to pick up a big, big lot of goodies. So super excited, uh, there probably won't be really much footage today to be honest because we're just going to be driving. Uh, but this is the plan for the weekend and we'll be back on Sunday so come along for a bit of a road trip yep we'll see you in a jiffy <laughs> ciao folks it's been a whole 10 minutes and we're already stopping for our first stop and guess where it is you betcha yeah. the golden arches so just gonna stock up on some coffee and some treats and then we're gonna actually properly hit the road <laughs> All right, we got our Maccas. We got a happy passenger princess, <laughs> and now, now the road trip begins. Ah, Jeepers! All right, team. Well, we'll see you in a jiffy. <laughs> see how long it takes till we stop again. <laughs> In the flesh. How about it? <laughs> I can't believe I haven't seen oh, you in no. person. Oh. I was just sort of saying to someone, goes, oh, haven't you met Chris yet? And I said, no, well, Chris actually said. And folks, we're back again. Every time you see us, we're eating Maccas at this rate. Um, so this is the next day. It is Friday morning. We've had an interesting morning. <laughs> Carla's set. I'm set as well. Um, but we had some fuel filter issues that we had to get changed. So we had to do a ad hoc spontaneous trip to uh, Toyota. We did a bit of a bit exchange in some dollary dues and they put in a new filter for me. So we're a bit delayed by about an hour and a half, but uh, we're back on the road. We've got Macca's breakfast ready to go. Carla's got hotcakes. We've got some sausage and egg McMuffins, the whole works. Um, next stop is Mount Barker and then to Adelaide. So we'll see you in a jiffy. Happy babe. Yep. <laughs> There he is! Just watch him <laughs> I was gonna sneak in and try and ski his. <laughs> How you doing, man? Oh, just a bit, just a bit. Actually, this this should fit perfectly fine. I think it'll be tight, but we should be right. Yeah, I think so. We'll see how we go. No worries. Jeepers. Folks, there we go. We didn't really film much just because it was kind of in and out and, um, well, all on a bit of a schedule here. Uh, so we've picked up all the goodies. Really do appreciate Brad and Jazz for all the, uh, the hookup there. We're actually going to be catching up with them, with them for dinner a bit later as well. So um, we will get to see them. And we're also going to get to see Ethan as well. So, but yeah, that's it. That's, that's the road trip, guys. <laughs> we're still going to go home. Um, but of course, I'll keep you updated on the trip home. And um, in case there's anything else that surprisingly happens. But uh, it's pretty good. Pretty cool to see the warehouse. Amazing little operation they got going there and uh, definitely gets me inspired and motivated to you know, work towards some of those bigger goals and dreams. So, good stuff, folks. All right, we'll see you later. And folks, we're back here again for a third time. Uh, it's really bad. Um, just got some coffee. I, I realized that we haven't told anyone what we're actually eating. So we've got coffees, two coffees, and we've been getting the, 
What is it called? The, the Big Breakfast? It's like two sausage and egg McMuffins and two hash browns. So, big dose of protein. All right, team, we are doing five hours today back to Horsham. And um, really, it's just all from here. It's just all the way home. So, wish us luck. And not sure how much more updates I'll really do because it's kind of not really relevant. Um, otherwise, I'll take you through how the results have been for the week anyway. So, wish us luck and we'll see you on the other side. Ciao. Cheers. So, as I said at the start of this video, this this week was a little bit different, right? But I think with anything, whether it's life, business, whatever, um, there's always going to be a bunch of challenges that are thrown our way. There's always going to be a bunch of obstacles that are thrown our way. And there's always going to be opportunities that are thrown our way as well. And it's how we how we handle that. And for me this week, it meant that I was less in the business. And I guess for me, some of the lessons that I have taken away from this week is balance because last week or the week before I was at retail fest in, in Queensland, which meant, you know, it took a lot out of me. I was traveling. I probably wasn't sleeping as much. I was talking. I was doing a lot of things, which just meant I was more on, which probably took a lot out of me. And then coming back and then trying to get straight back into the business as business as usual probably wasn't the best play because I probably did too much too quickly. And having to step away from the business, it's not the worst thing at the moment because I obviously do have people that can help, you know, with posting. I can I have people that are doing the photos. I have people that are doing the listings. However, the one thing that I think I struggle with is then to be able to continue to keep up the continuous momentum. Over the last six weeks, we've seen some amazing growth in the business and that's been great, but that's because I've got people doing certain things and I'm able to then go do above and beyond. If I'm not able to do the above and beyond or I'm not able to have above and beyond occur, which is what the realization has been for this week, then that's a gap that I need to fix. It's a friction point because I can't continue to have the business rely on me. I mean, as I mean, I am the business at this point still, right? But I cannot be that queen bee uh, focus point of the business because I become a bottleneck. I'm starting to pull those different things out, but just this week, again, being unwell, it's really helped me identify that there's still so much more that I need to do to make sure that the business can run itself purely, 100% without me. So that's that's the big lesson for this week. The other thing is, over the last six weeks, if you've been following on the journey, if not, you can go jump back and have a look. I had deals after deals. I've had some changes. I had got the third storage unit, all these different changes, which has enabled the growth. And all these things have been top of mind. And this deal that I've picked up this week was the last thing that was on the top of mind of like a, I guess, a 90 day plan. And now that that's done, it's like, I haven't really got the next steps laid out. But one of the things that is now top of mind, and when I say top of mind is if you were to stop right now and you weren't watching this video, what is the top of mind for you that's keeping you up at night or that you're thinking about that this is the next thing I've got to go spend my time on to do to get it out of the way? That's really what I talk about when it's top of mind. And for me at the moment, it's probably how do I increase my listings? At the moment, we do 25 per day. And that's just because of the volume game and just as so many things going on, that needs to increase. I need to up that. I need to see the sales volume continue to increase and hopefully not as put, not as, and hopefully we don't have to put as much um, input into that. So that's still cleaning up some of the processes and we've been building towards that to make sure we've got the stock to be able to make sure that we can keep that consistency happening. So I think over the next, I would like to say 30 to 60 days, that's probably my next top of mind to really make sure we're pushing into that to make sure we can get that consistency and get the cash flow happening and get the sales increased. So that's really my next focus. Now, if you stuck around this long, I do want to take you through the financials of what it's been for the week and where we're landing for April at this point. So this week's actually been pretty low compared to the last four weeks, probably one of my lowest. And that's expected because I haven't been doing as much in terms of I didn't even list as much this week, even though I had my list of doing the drafts. I was away last week. My photographer was away. A lot of different things meant that we didn't get as much in my draft bank as much as possible. And I exhausted it as well. Uh, so that's the other thing that I've got to work on, getting that up and up and up so that when we do have days off and things like that, that we're not actually getting into our extras or that draft bank, especially if I want to increase it to 30. I digress. This week we have, at the time of me filming this, I literally just got back from driving back from Adelaide about 45 to an 45 minutes to an hour ago. So it's about 3.30 at the moment on Sunday afternoon. And we're sitting on about $3,759 at the time of me filming this. So hopefully we'll get closer to that four hundred uh, to that $4,000 mark. Today we've only done like three sales and we're sitting on about a hundred bucks, which is really, really low considering my average for the week is sitting about 537. 
Uh, but it is what it is. In terms of April, well, over the last few weeks, I've been sharing that the first half of April is always, or the first half of the month, is always expenses. We're finally now back into the profit reign of 15.4%, which is about $3,679 on a revenue amount of around 23,796 bucks. So it's good to see that increase. Hopefully we'll get close to that $4,000 profit mark for the month. Um, we have slowed down in the tail end of this month, which is a bit frustrating because the momentum was really there, but I think we should still see some pretty good green results by the end of this month. So we've only got a couple more days left and we'll, we'll, we'll definitely hit the 24,000, but I think it would be nice if we could hit the 25,000, which is pretty cool to do in a single month. And regardless, this has been my best month yet. So it's a big win regardless. Uh, that's it from me uh, going into the next, as I said, next 60 days. It's really now just, I've got heaps of stock. How do we now just, I guess, buckle down and just get things get things happening and getting uh, that volume of sales increased. I mean, this month alone, the average uh, sales per day has been about 16. I need that to be 20. That's what I need to get to and keep it consistent, keeping that ASP high as well. At the moment, the ASP for April, we're sitting on, uh, if I can find it here while I'm looking at this, oh, we're actually at $51, which is really, really good. That's my best month in terms of ASP as well. So a lot of little levers to play with and a few things and it's never a, uh, it's never as easy as it may look. I don't, I wouldn't say that I'm making this look easy. I'm doing a lot of hard work, uh, but you know, just for anyone that's trying to reach at this next level, um, it's not as easy. I get nervous. I get super scared knowing that I have to start from zero again next month. I have to start from zero again next week. And how do we go do it all again? I talk about this over the last couple of weeks as well. Anyway, that's it from me. Appreciate you being here. If you've got any comments, questions, chuck them down below. Otherwise you have a wonderful day. Cheers.